Morning. Um, right, I've deleted the video I did on Hillsborough last night. I just didn't like it, guys, sorry. Um, it's had quite a few views, but I, I don't know what you say about that. I mean, the judge was apparently very concerned because Duck and Field is now in his 70s. Right, I mean, since when did someone's age come into a criminal trial? So, you know, certainly they're, they're not shy about prosecuting soldiers who served in, in Belfast and Iraq and stuff. The, and the ones in Belfast are now in the 70s and 80s. So, Freemason judge. I, I just don't know what you can do when the entire fucking establishment is bent as fuck. Um, speaking of which, the Hunts Post. I've just been around to get it. Apparently it may not be delivered anymore around my area. I had a bit of a chat. I know the news agent guy. Um, so I may have to go and buy it now. Uh, former commissioner resigns from district council seat. This is Jason Abelwhite, who was a, a district councillor as well as um, police crime commissioner. Obviously, he's resigned from the police crime commissioner role a few weeks back, a couple of weeks back. Um, so that was a, that's another five grand or four grand you've just lost, Jason. Never mind. I think it's better that you toddle off, really, because no one wants you. Um, it, it does crack me up every time I see the statement from the IOPC, um, because they say they're independently investigating the complaint against him. <laughs> they're about as independent as a brick in a house wall of all the other bricks. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just a quick resume, by the way. Now, that's the police I'm not allowed to speak to, the courts I'm not allowed to speak to, PSD I'm not allowed to speak to, professional standards. CPS aren't allowed to speak to me. They were very clear about that. I think I'm down to the IOPC, actually. Um, the police obviously have blocked me on Facebook and Twitter. So. But then, if you want to be vile, lying, narcissistic, psychotic scum, you just crack on. Um, now, there's a place, the St. Ives Police Station isn't used much anymore. So there's a charity which have taken over part of the building, which help um, adults with learning disabilities. There you go. Um, their section, which is on the side of a main road, by the way, got vandalised somehow. I think maybe they've, they've destroyed some pot plants and stuff here. Um, or someone broke into a construction site as well. Oh well. Um, so I'm not sure, I don't think they've got in. But Oh, here we go. Plant pots being thrown at windows of the building. And that's a, a police station. Same building as a police station. <laughs> Watch. I mean, I'm not condoning vandalism, obviously. But if you like live in a police station, then you're not even safe. I it really. Fucking amazes me. And the police want people to take them seriously, do they? Incredible. <laughs> 